Hey, I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com. Today we're talking about PPNs, Principal Protected Notes, and do they belong in your portfolio? First of all, what is a PPN? A PPN is a bond type instrument that's issued by the banks. Usually the Canadian banks are issuing a lot of these in this space, and they have a guarantee on the capital at maturity. So think of it, uh, they're, they're very bond-like and in a lot of investment uh, policy statements that we see, they actually classify as bonds, as fixed income. And this is why a lot of people are turning to them in mass. So the old alternative to fixed income is bonds and GIC. So you own a bond, you own a GIC, you're sure to get an, a coupon for X many periods of years and there's a guarantee, there's an underlying guarantee on that coupon, which is the value of the bank that's issuing these GICs. So in this case, when we look at PPNs, the guarantee is very similar. So it's a, it's a bank guaranteed instrument, but the payout is not. The payout is significantly different. So instead of getting a five-year bond that pays 3%, a client will own a five-year bond or a five-year PPN that will pay 100% of the performance of an underlying index in this example. So one PPN that was recently issued by a bank pays 100% of the underlying performance of the Canadian bank stocks. So this PPN is guaranteed, the capital is guaranteed, the client is assured that he will not, he or she will not lose one penny on this investment. Instead of making 3% for five years, the client will make 100% of the upside, the positive price movement of those Canadian bank stocks. It actually gives you exposure to the stock market without having any risk. So they become quite popular. They make a lot of sense for anyone who's risk averse, anyone who wants to participate in the market. They make a lot of sense for institutions. If you are heading up an institution, um, a conservative portfolio, you need to have nothing but fixed income, and yet you want the returns that the equity markets can generate, there's an easy way to get the exposure to that through a bond-like instrument fully guaranteed, and then you get to participate in the upside of the market. Had you been buying these in 2009, 2010, 2011, when they started to get really popular, you usually they have anywhere from a three to eight year maturity on these PPNs, these principal protected notes. They would have done remarkably well in the last decade or so. They would have, some would have matured at 10% plus annually. So some of these uh, definitely have a, a place in some Canadians' portfolios. If you're risk averse, if you want the growth, and yet you want the liquidity that a bond-like instrument like a PPN can, can give you, it's certainly something to consider. Now, the one thing you do have to consider with PPNs is they do trade. There's a secondary market, and they trade on the secondary market, which means that they are marked to market daily. So if the PPN traded at $0.94 cents on the dollar yesterday, you will see it on your statements at $0.94 cents on the dollar. It is not like a GIC, which will always show it par or better. So that's one thing to factor in to consider. Even though it's got the guarantee, it might show on your statement at a loss. Fantastic instrument. It makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. Something that's new and that uh, you know a lot of portfolio managers are not looking at. It likely makes sense for anyone who's defensive and anyone who wants more of the exposure with less of the market risk. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Tatro from robtatro.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will get notifications of any and all fun videos like this. Please comment, like, and share. Thanks.